Hello everyone, welcome to Hanover Mesa 2023. As you may already know, Hanover Mesa is an annual exhibition of the latest technologies and the products in the uh, industrial sector. So uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the uh, most eye-catching uh, technologies and products at this year's exhibition. And uh, of course, within our limited time, I won't be able to show you everything at this exhibition, but I'll try to uh, show some of the most important or the most yeah. interesting stuff that are at this year's event. Uh, first of all, I want to show you something from a company called Festo. And uh, we, uh, we're going to be able to see a device that uh, cultivates the uh, algae uh, biomass that you can save the energy, save the you can improve the safety standards uh, so that you can produce some of the uh, industrial products in a safer way. Uh, without any time wasted, let's go to see the device. And we are already at the stand of the company called Festo. Um, I'm going to be introduce you a little bit more about this company. And Festo is a German company and a global player in the fields of uh, industrial automation technology and technical education. The company supplies uh, pneumatic and electrical automation technology process automation in many industries. We can see uh, there are many uh, showcasing examples to show how you can control the stuff within their latest technology. Yeah, I'm Sebastian Schroff and I, um, I'm in the bionics department of Festo for 10 years now and we were known for flying objects or jumping animals and we learned a lot from nature just by copying it. And now uh, technologically we are on the level that we can really work together with nature eh, to merge technology and nature to deal the biggest uh, problems of our time like global warming and the carbon cycle and here yeah, we went back in time and because millions of years ago the atmosphere around our globe was packed with carbon dioxide and then microorganisms appeared like the algae and this algae uh, made photosynthesis so they took carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and transformed it into oxygen yeah, and sugar and this oxygen is now in the atmosphere and makes life possible at all so now we are here and we do uh, we take the, the algae put it into our system that is completely automated and it creates biomass and binds carbon dioxide at the same time. So it's a win-win situation. And with our uh, Festo automation technology, uh, it's 10 times faster and uses 10 times less energy and is seven times faster than the land plant. Yeah? And then to know how the algae feels, because you can't really recognize it, we have an, um, a live microscope and a quantum sensor and like this we can analyze the, uh, the algae, how big they are and how many they are and how green they are. And here we have a module to uh, capture um, actively uh, carbon dioxide with a special granulate that absorbs the carbon dioxide and if you if you heat it up, then you can take it and put it here into the bioreactor where the algae grows and grows. And then if there is uh, enough inside, the, the factory automatically takes it here into this system and that's a harvester. Yeah. It takes the, the, um, this, this algae uh, medium mixture and then in the end you only have the algae left because the, uh, the centrifuge takes it out. And the last step is the most important one. It's an uh, enzymatic production, an enzymatic process, like in our stomach. Yeah? It takes the cells, the enzyme is added, and the enzyme, it's like the smallest tools we have on Earth, um, cuts 
the cells and the, in, the oil gets out and we, 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 we have a very versatile raw material that we can use in, in cosmetics industries, food industries or material industries. And here in the end, by adding another enzyme, we have a biofuel and glycerol as a very um, uh, valuable material. And the cool thing is that that the uh, carbon dioxide that was uh, fixated before is now inside of these materials. So it's our um, so we show how we can can take take part in um, biological transformation. So basically, this part is where they separate the algae cells uh, mm -hmm. with the environment and living, and so that we can take what is useful from the cells and yeah. we can make our products. Yeah. Right. But uh, can you be more specific about what kind of products can we make from this system? Uh, like uh, cosmetics, I imagine. Yeah. We we can uh, we can make a lot out of it. Yeah. That's the thing about it. It's basically oil. oil. Yeah that you can uh, compare to the fossil oil that is in the ground. And we do a lot, we, can, we make a lot out of oil. Huh? Not just one specific thing, we can make uh, plastics out of it, you can make cosmetics out of it, you can even eat it. Yeah? We can make food. We can make food out of it, yeah. Because there is a lot, in this, in this um, algae, there's a lot of omega-3 fatty acid. And this is very important for people um, with vegan nutrition. Yeah, a supplement, and it's it, people pay a lot of money for this because it's 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 very high standard food. Yes. So uh, compared to the traditional uh, chemical or industrial production, what if, what are the main advantages of our bio system? Yeah. Now the chemical processes they need a lot of energy, a lot of heat, a lot of pressure, and they they cause a lot of toxic waste. You know? And if you if you watch in nature, there's there's no waste. So if we um, try to copy those uh, processes, then we can, can make it without waste, without heat. It's slower, but you don't have the problems afterwards. Now we are going to be continue our tour. And for those who may not know, Hanover Mesa 2023 opened on Monday. And this Mesa is founded in, was founded in 1947 and it is the world's leading industrial trade fair and this year's fair is themed industrial transformation making the difference it has attracted about 4,000 companies from the mechanical engineering electrical and digital industries as well as the uh, energy sector We'll be taking a further look at Microsoft stand to see if there's something cutting edge technologies showcasing here. What we can see here, this robotic arm. You may ask what's new about robotic arm, but actually since we have talked about it, AI has been a trending technology in this year, so uh, the solution providers, they are, also, they are also thinking about using machine learning to improve the level of automation and industrial production. This system you are seeing now, this robot arm, is, being used, is using the uh, vision inspection with machine learning technology so that it can I'll give you a closer look. It can inspect the product with visual inspection so that, and the visual inspection technology is actually based on machine learning so that with a camera on this robotic arm, you can see if this product is correctly manufactured. See the flashlight? That's how it works. And on the part, there's a UI system that you can see what's happening in the production line. With machine learning abilities, the production will be improved in terms of efficiency and 
additionally, even carbon emissions will be lowered. Here you are seeing now is the exhibition from Google. They are also showcasing their technologies with a focus on AI. And of course, energy optimization. also a technology similar to what we have seen just now, visual quality inspection using machine learning. According to the information, it said it can autom automatically detect missing or misplaced clip components. The uh, Hanola Mesa is current is focusing on high-tech and innovative solutions for overcoming global industrial challenges. This year, beside Germany and uh, this year's partner country, Indonesia, most of the exhibitors come from China, Italy, Turkey, and the United States. Germany is uh, represented by global players such as uh, Siemens and Bosch, as well as medium-sized companies, startups, and renowned research institutes. Of course, there are many companies from China. And in our lab report, I'm going to be visiting uh, one or more Chinese enterprises to see what they are showcasing. All right, coming up, uh, we are at the stand of a hire. For those who uh, may not know, hire is actually uh, used to be known as a household appliances manufacturer. But uh, after years of uh, decades, actually, decades of uh, experience in its uh, manufacturing of household appliances, it has now, uh, using, is now using its experience to provide smart solutions for other enterprises. Here we can see uh, Hire's uh, solution for energy industry, for uh, household appliance industry, uh, it is providing its solutions for other enterprises to make their transformation towards smart manufacturing. Uh, actually, this year the main target, uh, the main product Hire is activating is called uh, Cosmos Flat. And uh, we can see here uh, it has a slogan of uh, innovative ecosystem for the digital future. Actually, the product named uh, Cosmo Platt is an industrial internet platform with, uh, that is, uh, which is built by Hire based on its uh, 30 years of manufacturing experience, according to Hire. And uh, the company said the platform is a uh, fusion of manufacturing technologies and new generation information technologies. The platform uh, actually provides digital transformation solutions for uh, businesses from different industries and of different sizes around the world. It helps to promote the digital transformation of uh, businesses, industrial parks, industries, and cities. All right. Actually, they are currently starting this uh, press tour. They say they started uh, participating in the Hanover Mesa starting from 2017. But due to the pandemic, their participation was uh, paused for a while, and uh, 2000. They used to participate uh, from participate in the Mesa online, but this year is the fifth time they, they're here, on site. This year they're mainly demonstrating uh, 
there are this、uh, platform which helps different industries and different cities. The first part is their a is their smart solution. What we see in the video. Is a smart plant based in Shanghai. This is also their first plant that used this、uh, smart interconnection technology. It、uh, simulates their equipment in a virtual environment, and it makes the interconnection of equipment possible. When an order comes, it can、uh, arrange the manufacturing within seconds. Because they build the system in a virtual environment, so that they can、uh, test all different kinds of、uh, manufacturing. By using this、uh, solution, their Shanghai plant has. Reduced their carbon emission by 30 percent last year, and their、uh, production has increased by、uh, 16 percent. So basically, it's higher efficiency, lower carbon emission. Apart from using the technology in their own plants, they also using other industries like、uh, coal mining, like transportation,、um, like smart equipment. Coming up, the next part is AIoT. It's actually、uh, like the things we talked about the、uh, uh, interconnection of things.、Mm. It helps to、uh, connect the equipment using the internet. It's a.、Uh, it has a hardware, software system so that、uh, yeah combines all those、uh, different technologies.、And、coming up. The next part is、uh, their industrial brain. The industrial brain is the base for their AI technologies. Using the industrial brain, you can、uh, monitor the information of their online developers, online enterprises, online. You can demonstrate all their、uh, system data and results. So,、uh, due to these、uh, technologies, it has been in a leading position of.、Uh, Smart industry. Hire has also built a smart、uh, manufacturing system for air conditioners. It can collect the. Data to analyze the data and、uh, provide a personalized、uh, plan. We can also use a VR headset to、uh, remotely maintain the system. Yeah, now we can、uh, follow the stuff so that we can get a better understanding. And the visual display. Here 
here we can see the VR headset, and uh, they are gonna show us to the next part. This is the uh, industrial brain that we talked about. This is their global equipment, the current status. All those uh, online enterprises, the developers. Bottom, this is their example of the uh, air conditioner manufacturing. It's a, it's a mass uh, customization of central air conditioning. Yeah, now we can get a better understanding and display of the smart system. You can see it shows all different kinds of data and uh, the status of the uh, manufacturing. So that basically wraps up our report today. And we still have a lot of uh, other companies and exhibitions that we don't have enough time to uh, get a better knowledge of. But I hope that next year, maybe Hanover Mesa, there's going to be more advanced and even more helpful new technologies and products showing up. And looking forward to seeing you in our next live report. Stay tuned.